Hi, welcome to Dice Control Dojo. I'm Phil and I practice every day and share my tips so we can all get better at the casino. Today we're talking about the day before. So we're one day out to getting to Vegas. Okay, what does that look like? You're nervous before you go. I want to talk about what your practice looks like the day before you leave. And because <clears throat> I think it's very important to leave with a high note. I want to make sure that I'm I'm relaxed and sometimes you don't practice your breathing techniques. You want to make sure you're enhancing your breathing techniques as we go. So we're going to talk about what how to throw, how to relax and making sure you know what to bring. And the most important thing is dice and we're going to talk about that. So when I'm practicing. So for the whole last few videos, we talked about being casino ready and the loud thing. And we talked about your buddies, what your game plan is, what you're, what you're willing to spend. Today, you got a day before, right? You're excited before you go. So I want to make sure that I'm not going to screw up my positive chi. And I do believe that that can happen. I, I already know when we leave on a Friday, when we get there on a Friday, we have a horrible first session. It's a lot of traveling. Everybody's excited to get at the table. We want to just get on there. We always have a losing series on a Friday just because we're all betting and we're drinking and we're tired and we're hungry and we're so I always know that we're going to blow off that first day, but the night, the day before when I'm practicing, I want it to be positive. I want my energy to be going in positive. I don't want to start tweaking things at the last minute. I don't want to overthink my numbers. I don't want to even want to see my scores. Okay. So when you're throwing, do not... You've done all your betting strategy. You know what your betting strategy is going to be. So what your last day throw should be, in my opinion, this is my humble opinion, is don't even set them for the threes. Don't even do anything but just don't look at what your numbers are. I don't want the numbers. I don't want to know. I just want to see a relaxed throw, and I want to see them. I don't care that that's a seven or not. I'm not marking it down. I just want to feel good about my throw. I want to feel good. I don't, I already have all the, I know it's going to come over. I already know what my betting strategy is going to be. So I just want to stay loose. So that you stay consistent when you're throwing and that you're, so you're going to be making sure you're consistent on your throws. So the last day, we want to make sure, no matter what you're doing, you're working out your bugs right before you leave, right? And it's going to be, don't set up the threes. Once again, just make sure you're grabbing the dice and having that consistent run. You want to make sure your throw is as consistent as possible. And that's where you're going to excel. So just make sure when you're going through all of your, your routine the day before, you're working out your, your betting, your betting strategies, you're playing with the numbers and, and knowing what your betting strategies are. You want to practice your high betting strategies if you're rolling for a long time. You want to practice your breathing. You've got to make sure you've, you're simmered down and relaxing. Maybe blast some stereo like we talked about earlier on what your rolls will be. Also, too, make sure you're trimming your fingers, that you're don't do it right before you go. You should be trimming it today so that if they do grow for a little bit, they're not going to be 
offset too bad. Um, you don't want your finger, your fingernails offsetting your, if one usually grows fat bigger than the others do. And if that's the case, you may throw off a little bit on your throw. You want to make sure what you're doing that day is, uh, keeping your energy, um, positive. You want to make sure you're going in with a positive attitude. You want to make sure you have a, a nice uh, routine going through on that day. And you want to make sure that you're planned for everything, have everything strategized, have everything ready to go, even like where you're going to eat, what you're going to do. Talk to your friends. Make sure that strategy makes a lot of sense to what you guys are going to do and try and stick to your betting strategy. We don't talk about betting strategies when we're, when I'm doing this, but what I do like to do is make sure whatever betting strategy you all have, make sure you stay consistent with that. Don't change it up. Um, I, I know going in, sometimes we, we want to play with our betting strategies and when we're live there, we see some other people doing different things and it may look interesting. Make sure you stick to what you're doing so that you know what your betting is so you can grab it and throw it and get it out as fast as possible. Because you don't want to have to stop. We all know that once you stop something and everybody is... is uh, something's going wrong, your brain starts going away from what you're trying to do and you want to stick to that rule on what's going on. So day, day before, relax, trust that you've, you've worked two weeks to get a consistent throw, trust your throw. When you get there, you may have to adapt. The, this may not be, it might be higher, it might be lower. That's okay. All of those things, all those little minutia things will just fade away if you just stick to your guns with what you're doing. It's a consistent grab, relax, breathe, and throw. And then that is what's going to get you your best success. So I hope this helped. I hope your two, this two-week series helped with getting you ready to go. When we go, I'll uh, talk about how I did uh, in the future. I just wanted to get this two-week series in place to try and condense down and have a consistent series so that you can throw and, uh, and be ready to go with uh, a short notice. So um, join me on my next videos. I'm going to talk a lot about crafts the table games of craps and how they're disappearing. So I have a whole series coming up on what we can do as dice control throwers to promote this game, this great game, so that it stays with us for a long, long time. So we don't talk about the betting strategy. I hope you have a good one going to Vegas or going to Atlantic City, wherever you're going. And uh, just know that... Um, just because we don't talk about betting strategy, just know that I'm hoping and praying that you're throwing for a long, long time.